after a quick rundown of the plan, Marco led us to the border. Oh yeah, let me catch you up. We're going to Baja! A trip spawned at the SoCal Mountain Rendezvous is finally coming to fruition. After crossing the border, we beelined it to Ensenada, made a quick stop for some seafood, and then headed to camp. This is Marco from Overland X uh, from Baja, from our first uh, Baja Traverse expedition. Uh, great morning, great day with great friends. After enjoying the views of camp over breakfast, we headed towards a section of the Baja 1000. First, a quick stop for tacos. We arrived at a portion of the Baja 1000 just as a light rain was letting up. It was amazing how dusty it still was.
On the course, the ruts were deep, but our Xterra's Niztec suspension and our Tacoma's Toytec lift suspension handled it well. The effort was well worth it to experience the vast beauty. Baja is tough on tires, claiming a total of four from our group during the trip. A quick change of the Wilco Tacoma's tire, and we hit the road towards San Felipe. Who could resist another chance to stop for tacos, and to add a sticker to the shop's collection? are reaching the arches now, which are the official entrance of San Felipe. We made a quick stop for gas before pushing on to camp. It's a little eerie arriving at a locked gate under total darkness a quarter mile before you expect to reach camp. But if you hang out long enough, someone will show up and open the gate for you. That is for 200 pesos per truck. We woke to the views of an amazing beach that we had all to ourselves. spent the day exploring the area and enjoying beach activities. If you're one of the owners of Dead Man Off-Road, then a day on the beach provides another opportunity to test your product. And it performed as advertised. A few from the group spent the last colors of sunset doing a little baja -ing. After all, we were in Baja. Nick, we're here in Baja, enjoying a bottle of wine that has no name. We did a little swap with our good friend Adrian. Thank you so much, Adrian. And we're enjoying this. The night was windy, and the conditions while packing camp proved to be no different. From camp, we made a quick gas stop before putting down the miles towards the Valley de Giganticus. From there, we would do our final push 
to the Mexico-USA border. another taco stop. If you're ever in the San Felipe area, see Julio at mile marker 180. His hospitality is second to none and the tacos are amazing. Border crossing in Mexicali. All we can say is think LA traffic and plan at least a few hours. All right guys, this is the untold side of overlanding. Here's a salami wrap thingamajig. We're in Needles, California, on our way back from, where are we coming back from? Baja, from Baja. We're putting down like 14 hours driving to get home tonight. Baja was amazing, and we will definitely be back. If you want to see some more action from the trip, head over to Trail Recon's YouTube channel and watch the video they're producing from the trip. We hope that our adventures inspire you to be, live, explore.